watching Newswatch with Bill Hutchins and Julie Brown. 100 plaques were unveiled today at cultural sites and churches across the country. The ceremonies marked 100 years since Canada implemented the War Measures Act, forcing thousands of Eastern Europeans into internment camps during the First World War. Briar Stewart has our story. A simple ceremony marking a dark period in Canada's past. Recalling Canada's first national internment operations, 1914-1920. It began when the First World War broke out in Europe in 1914. Canada enacted the War Measures Act. Tens of thousands of people of Eastern European descent were labeled as enemy aliens. The majority were Ukrainian. More than 8,000 people were moved into internment camps, but that's not the word Jerry Bayrak uses. I call it a concentration camp. They were used as slave labor. They were loaned out to the railways, to uh, mills coal mines, whoever needed people, there, there they were. Three generations of his family were housed at the Spirit Lake camp in northern Quebec. My mother, she was the last known survivor of the 24 camps across Canada. His mother Mary was born in the camp. She died in 2008. It was all sort of coming to the forefront when she died. The two dozen internment camps were scattered across the country, including some in the Rocky Mountains. In the middle of the pristine wilderness, there's an ugly reminder. This is what's left of the barbed wire. Boris Sidorik says this camp was open from 1915 to 1917, and during that time, hundreds of people passed through. It was a tough life here, and men escaped. Men escaped from here that uh, were never heard of from again. The goal of today's ceremonies was to commemorate sites like this. I think we're finally getting where we're getting the full story out, the impact it had on a large group of people. And teach Canadians about a part of history that many believe is still relatively unknown. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Edmonton. This dark chapter of Canadian history also has its ties to Kingston. Ukrainian immigrants in this area were rounded up and placed in an internment camp at Fort Henry during the First World War. This was long before the fort became a tourist attraction. They were treated as enemies of the state. A private ceremony involving the mayor and the Ukrainian ambassador is just getting underway this hour at the fort's cell block. The event is meant to be essentially commemorative. We have five members of the Canadian Bandurist Ensemble coming from Toronto. The Bandur is a traditional Ukrainian stringed instrument, and they will actually be doing a concert playing appropriate music in the casements, in the cells where the internees once were held.